How do you mend a broken heart and get ready for love again? Hi everyone, Robert Zenk, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Success Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we are always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. That's what this channel is about. Your dreams and your goals and the law of attraction. MiracleMindHypnosis.com. We are giving away a free, absolutely free, no obligation audio program. It's a hypnotic program designed to help you retune, recalibrate your subconscious mind to attract whatever it is you desire more abundance in your life, more happiness, more love, better health, whatever it is you desire. It's free. It's my gift from me to you. All you have to do is visit miraclemindhypnosis.com. So how do you mend a broken heart and get ready for love again? So do you find your heartache so intense? that you can't sleep. You toss and turn, you try to sleep, but you just can't fall asleep. Your mind won't stop. It's almost like you have to consciously breathe. Breathing isn't automatic. It's something that you have to consciously do because you're in pain because you're suffering from heartache. You don't want to eat. You don't want to go to work, but you have to go to work. You don't want to go on, but you also don't want to quit. You're suffering from a broken heart and you're alone with your thoughts and with your pain. Now there are some law of attraction gurus who will tell you to just detach, but you won't hear that from me because I understand that you're a human being and that grieving the loss of someone, either physical loss through death or a breakup is very normal. Grieving is part of the human experience. And it would almost be absurd to believe that grieving isn't part of the process. If you've been in a deep relationship or you've been married and it's come to an end, I understand your need to grieve. As a matter of fact, you wouldn't be human if you didn't give yourself time to grieve. But somewhere deep down, you know, you are filled with love and that you can have a new relationship with your special person, your special someone, or the universe is preparing you for someone even better. At some point you will need to let go in order to let love in again, whether it's with your special person, your specific person, or someone that the universe has selected for you. That's even better. The first thing you need to do is come to terms with the fact that you are a co-creator of your own reality, that at some level you participated in the creation of the reality you are now living. Now think about it for a moment. This sounds like really bad news, but it is, it's absolutely great news because as a co-creator, if we manifested a relationship and then we attracted or manifested a breakup, we can also manifest a reconciliation, a new relationship with the same person, only better, stronger, more intense, or the universe can bring us someone even better. 
I believe high flyers that it's essential that from this moment on that you give up the idea that you are a victim. Maybe you've been cheated on. Maybe you've been lied to. Maybe you've been left penniless, but if you choose to be a victim, you'll stay in that position longer. So give it up. Now you have the power to shift your beliefs, to shift your thoughts and emotions, your feelings and vibrate at the frequency of love and the life that you deeply want and desire. High flyers. Number two is stop giving power to your 3d reality. Yes, it's important to accept the situation as it is, but relax because the situation was co-created by you. And therefore you have the power to create a whole new reality, a whole new inner landscape that will blossom out into an outer landscape, one that you live in your 3d reality. So don't get lost in the 3d reality as it is right now, because you're about to change it. High flyers. When you choose not to empower the 3d reality outside you, but choose to empower the inner reality that you are creating, you move away from being a victim and you move away from that desperate stage where you feel desperate and like nothing is going to work out and everything has gone bad in your life that moves away from you. And all of a sudden you begin to feel empowered again. And that's the beginning of attracting the love, the healing, the life that you desire and deserve rather make a deep commitment, a deep commitment within yourself to create a new inner reality, the wish fulfilled and keep your focus on that reality. No matter no matter how much the 3d world yells at you to feel depressed, to feel angry, to feel hopeless, focus on your inner reality, the reality that you are creating. Oftentimes people say, well, Robert, I feel, I feel bad because if I don't think about them, that means I don't want them. And that isn't the case at all. That's hardly the case. Stop thinking about them. You're feeding them energy. You know, they're getting fed this energy so they don't have the need or desire to miss you and miss all the wonderful things that the two of you shared and had. And more importantly, when you're sending them this energy by thinking about them all the time, you're not focusing where that energy belongs with you on you, on your journey, on your life. Most importantly, high flyers, you're not focusing on that inner reality of love and healing that you are creating. Number three is to pull your energy inward rather than focusing it outward, pull it inward. High flyers. This puts the focus on you. This puts you back up on the pedestal where you belong rather than on the floor or on the dirt groveling to someone who is on the pedestal. You belong on the pedestal. You are worthy of the pedestal. So don't, don't step off the pedestal by putting your focus on someone else are on the 3d world by focusing on yourself. You allow them to deeply, to deeply feel your absence, 
and to begin to miss you and want you and crave you. And when you focus on yourself, you also open yourself up to all kinds of wonderful things to something even better. If you choose that direction, listen, there is always, and I mean, always something better. The universe never breaks someone up, never allows a breakup without providing a better option. As you begin to love yourself more, your energy and vibration grows and you become that magnet again, that shining star and that energy, that magnetic pull will pull your specific person either back into your life for a new relationship or the universe will send you someone better. The choice is yours. High flyers do this because you are worth loving yourself. Feel good about your journey, your purpose for even being here and your mission and purpose in life. Number four, be absolutely certain that your future is compelling and filled with healing and love. Every day that you move into the future, you are moving deeper and deeper into healing, deeper and deeper into love. And you are feeling better about yourself. And that's helping you attract the life that you deserve and you desire. And number five, when you feel down, when your mind is thinking about someone else or you're focused on your 3d reality, return back to gratitude. Think of all the wonderful things that you can be grateful for in your life and all the wonderful things that you can be grateful for in your history and all the wonderful things that you can be grateful for that haven't even happened yet and focus on them. Be grateful for your healing. Be grateful for love flowing, literally pouring back into your life. Be grateful for happiness and joy and enthusiasm and excitement and prosperity and abundance. Be grateful for you. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.